Right, so I've swapped into my white coat. Still got my pyjamas on. Um, but this is going to get really messy, I think. Um, I'm hoping that this is going to work. I'm going to have a play on this mat. Oh, paint's ready. And I'm going to do some sort of fake or faux jelly printing. Um, I've never done this before. I can play with it on screen. Um, I think this is going to be quite a long process because I'm just going to like layer down paint and then do different things and put paper onto it. So for once, I think I'm just going to do a speed through video. Um, just going to show you some things I have to play with. So I have this. Um, I got uh, Mike Deacon's download for the Mission Inspiration prompt. I paid for that. Um, and I printed it off my printer. ran out of ink. So it kind of came out all funny. So I'm going to use that one. Uh, oh, yes. Wax paper, which as you know I just got recently. Never played with this before, so this is going to be fun. And I'm just generally going to just see what happens here. Let's just put that in again. Down here. And then what I'm going to do with the paper afterwards is I'm going to pop it in some happy mail once I've finished layering on it and stuff. Uh, it's quite a thick cartridge paper type thing. Uh, I'll just journal. Just got a piece of paper that I've already stamped some paint on through. Got some uh, magazine paper, but it's sort of a shiny newsprint sort of thing, and some plain paper. So, what I'll do is I'll just let the camera roll and throw some paint down and do a speed through. So, I hope you enjoy this.
Right. So let's talk about how that went. It was very messy. It's taking me ages to clean the mat up again. Um, I've got some interesting results. Um, not as good as a jelly plate would be. Um, yes. So when I was using the stencil, you could see that I pressed the paper onto it and it didn't really do much. And I'm guessing that is because when you use a jelly plate, you press into it and the jelly plate kind of the stencil will sink into the jelly plate so the paint will be near the surface and you can rub it and then the paint will um, touch the paper whereas with this there's no way for it to go so you're just rubbing onto the stencil I did get a little bit on this one you can just see it just me, sort of, little red flower. Um, but yeah, it worked better, as you saw, when I cleaned through the stencil. And then just made an impression from what paint was left on the map. Um, so yeah, that was just a bit of a messy one. Uh, but these, I'm still going to share these with my friends, because you can use these as perfectly good backgrounds. In your artwork, just tear them up, stick them down. Uh, yeah. That one's really thick with paint, so look at that over there because it's still wet. Uh, again, another messy one, but I might even go over and put some white paint on with the stencil so that it's got something nice at least um, quite like this one with the the circles um, I don't know if you noticed but when I was putting that uh, this one down and cleaning through it I don't know if it was the amount of water I'd added or what but it was sliding all over the place so it wasn't very perfect but it gave a nice grungy messy look so it's okay. So I'm not sure if I would do that again. Maybe if I just want to do some grungy play and make some backgrounds. It wasn't terrible. It just wasn't as easy as it would have been, I imagine, if I had a jelly plate. So yeah, that was a fun five minutes. And I hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you soon.